Hi, welcome to Road by Culture. I'm your host, Kevin Isley. Today we're gonna to talk about Mount Whitney Portal Horseshoe Meadows. Mount Whitney is the tallest peak in the continental United States at 14,500 feet. It is an epic, epic mountain. And when you go on this ride, it is going to transform what you think of climbing. Mount Whitney Portal Horseshoe Meadows, they are right out of Lone Pine. So once you leave your hotel, you're gonna start climbing. For us, we started on Mount Whitney Portal and then did Horseshoe Meadows. And in my conclusion, I'm gonna tell you what I thought about doing that direction. Mount Whitney Portal is 11.3 miles from Lone Pine, California. It is an average grade of 8%. Once you leave Lone Pine, you're gonna go up through what's called Alabama Hills. And Alabama Hills is where they used to shoot a lot of Westerns in these beautiful rock formations. And if you're into old Westerns, you're gonna recognize these hills. Your beginning elevation is 3,800 feet and your ending elevation is 8,500 feet. The first five miles are about 5% and it's an 8% overall ride. But after those first five miles, you're gonna be hitting some 10 and 11%, even a 15% on one switchback. That means it's an average grade of 9% once you start climbing. As the elevation gets higher and those miles are ticking away on this climb, you're getting deeper and deeper into Mount Whitney. And as you go, it is getting more and more beautiful from the rocky granite that you start off at, the trees start to come around you, but the grade and the steepness of this ride is painful. And we got passed by a lot of Harley riders because this is an epic place for them to go. It was 80 degrees in the valley, but when we got to the top, it was 40 degrees and there was snow on the ground. But the really fun thing about this ride is when you're up at Mount Whitney Portal, they serve the biggest pancake I have ever had in my life. And that is a carb boost that you need to get over the next hump of this ride. The descent down Mount Whitney Portal is a little hairy because it was not a good road, but I just read that in 2016, they repave the road, so I can't wait to get back there. You don't ride all the way down to Lone Pine. You turn right on Horseshoe Meadow Roads, which then traverses over to the climb. And you can't miss Horseshoe Meadows because it is carved into the mountain. These six switchbacks that you see, and the first switchback is 1.7 miles and the second switchback is 1.2 miles. Horseshoe Meadows is 19.2 miles long. Its top elevation is 10,020 feet. That's an elevation gain of 6,400 feet. This is a monster ride. It is really fun and Horseshoe Meadows is the second hardest climb in California and the seventh in the United States. To be honest, we never made it all the way to Horseshoe Meadows. We got up to the first high summit before you begin descending one mile for another two mile climb. Two of our riders were out of water. We didn't know if they had water at Horseshoe Meadows and it was raining about a mile away from us and we could see it coming. It was gray with the streaks in the sky. None of us wanted a chance running out of water and riding in a storm. And remember, it was 80 degrees in the valley and it was 40 degrees up where we were. This was a crazy, crazy ride but that's what we get into bike riding for, right? It is to go off on these amazing adventures and see amazing things and push our bodies beyond what anybody really does unless they're cyclists. Being a cyclist is awesome and Horseshoe Meadows Mount Whitney Portal is gonna tell you that you're an amazing rider, but you have to train for this ride. There are people who I know who do Onion Valley, Mount Whitney Portal and Horseshoe Meadows in one day, but they start when it's dark and they get done when it's dark, but they have a support vehicle where they can rest when they need to, they can fill their water bottles, they can get good food, and this is how you would do this ride. Otherwise, it's a two-day ride, and part two is amazing. I like Mount Whitney Portal Horseshoe Meadows more than I like Onion Valley. Onion Valley is just brutal. It's brutal on the climb, it's brutal to get there, it's brutal to get back. But Horseshoe Meadows and Mount Whitney Portal that is a beautiful ride. Climbing up Mount Whitney is like climbing nowhere else I've ever been. It is incredible. And I can't wait for you guys to go out there and ride that ride too, because as cyclists, we all want to experience something really amazing. And Mount Whitney is really amazing. I can't wait to get back here again, and I'm going to. But when I come back again, I'm gonna do Horseshoe Meadows first 
because we hit it pretty late in the day, there was a storm coming and we were running out of water. If you do it first, right after breakfast, go up there, hammer it out, get a really big descent, then I think I would go back to Lone Pine and actually try to get something to eat and then climb Mount Whitney Portal and get my pancake there too. We didn't take enough breaks. We did not refuel enough, but we did go on an amazing adventure. Even if we didn't reach Horseshoe Meadows, I still think that was the right decision. I don't wanna ride on unfamiliar roads during a rainstorm running out of water. And as we were descending Horseshoe Meadows, that rain was right behind us until we got to the valley floor and it never appeared. But we could smell the rain and we could hear it. It was just behind us, like a monster chasing us down that mountain. It made it for a better adventure, I gotta say. Well, I think that just about covers it. Mount Whitney Portal, Horseshoe Meadows. Amazing climbing, Eastern Sierras, Owens Valley. There's nowhere else like this. Get out here and see it and write it for yourselves. If you like this episode, give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. I'm also on Twitter, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram. I'm everywhere, people. And until the next time, I hope to see you out there on the road.